Please, Mikon, I'm begging you. Just don't do anything weird. Just go quietly. God dang it. You don't have to suffer. Just... <laughs> God, huh? Huh? Uh, huh? 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 You know, I, th I thought my request was pretty easy to understand. Uh... <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. Are you kidding me? You're caught. Just give up. That's not it. It is it. I mean, it's impossible. It is not impossible, and you know it. it. Impossible? What's her next defense? Come on. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Yes. Try remembering the tote bag instead. Oh my god. How is she wearing the the bag in the video if that was the There's two bags and you can only get one. Ding! I totally remember now. God dang it. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. Have you not were you not at the party when she like spread her that uh, tote bag? Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? Yeah, it is. How do you know so much about that video? Cause she made it. <laughs> Who cares about that? Everyone here does. You. More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Wait, didn't Monokuma say you can get two? Am I an idiot? Hachimi saw it no. too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? I do remember that, but what? Oopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. <laughs> even though Hajime was the only one to see the video, but okay. Uh, there's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. I don't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure Monokuma said you can get more than just one. You. Uh, so don't you think it's impossible? It's not impossible. Using one tote bag in both the conference room. And the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? <laughs> Monokuma's was just like, nah, that could be two bags. What? You, come on, it's not that far fetched, right? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. Why are you blushing? Good get. Oh my god, I just realized there's like, <laughs> looks like a noose behind her. Uh, god dang it, dude. So you forgive me, right? No! Your stubbornness this far. Such despair. I mean, honestly, I admire the hustle. But, lady, you gotta go. Are you gonna forgive me? Nah. I won't stop until you forgive me! <laughs> nah, it's not gonna happen. Wait, crap. Uh, long well, time no see. Well, not really. Whatever. It's time for the third PTA. This time, probably gonna be the last job during a class trial. Okay. Please hear me while I taint your ears one last time. Uh, starting from PTA, reload and ammo systems are added. Okay, got it. You'll no longer be able to make do with just the B button. All right. Below the temple mark, there's lower portion of the number of bullets. Okay, so we just got to reload to destroy one more mark. That's easy. Enough. Ah, oh, crap. That actually makes it way harder. I got to press X to reload. Just like locking on, press X in time with the temple marker. Okay, got it. That's the tempo. Got it. Oh my gosh. Mikon, you're going down, you sack of crap. Also, your ammo will be completely replenished. You know, I'm running time. All right, I don't give a crud. Let's go, Mikon. It's not a limited item. That's Ugh. why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. We also never still cleared up what was used to kill Hyoko, but whatever. Check. Has she lost it for good? I don't think she ever had it to begin with. God dang it! What made her this way? Can you forgive me? Forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? Maybe. No! At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. <laughs> Bust out the DDR like plastic pad. Let's duel! Uh, I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. Get those dance moves out, Hajime. Let's do this. Okay. I can't fail. God dang, she's so crazy. All right, time to focus. Here we go. All right, it's identical. I'm not. What the? Why only me? I think I got this. Please draw on me. No. Oh crap. Why is she so goddamn creepy? Why are these type of characters so popular, dude? And why am I so bad at this? 
Please. Oh, oh crap. Time. We don't have shots. Okay. Can you forgive me already? Oh crap! What the? This is really hard. Oh my gosh. I didn't think PTA could get difficult, but it has. Oh no! Crud! Uh, I gotta. Come on! There we go. There we go. Okay. Thank God. Just shut up! Because I can't take it. It's not gonna happen. You killed two people for. Why? Why did you kill them? Was it a spare? Like seriously, was it the spare disease or not? Go to. Come on. Oh, I gotta reload. Okay, it's done. There's only one back. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same time. That's not true this because there's two bags. All right, thank God. Just find me all over. Jesus Christ, this was honestly torture for me. Uh. Monica mentioned this earlier. Thank God, I was right about something for once. <laughs> okay. Man, you buy a bag, get another free. <laughs> Should have received another one as a bonus prize. <laughs> Was that simple? <laughs> well, yeah, there's two crud. Yeah, what are you idiots? I got. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. Also, we could just step outside and see that, like, yeah, probably you, you hit another bag somewhere. I don't know. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. They really are just like the cruddiest excuses of all time. What the heck? Man? God damn it. Why? I don't know. Cause I don't want to die, and you did it. So. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe we could begin to forgive you if we find out why you did this in the first place. We still have no idea, dude. It like, seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Yeah, I guess it's time to vote. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! I'm getting really tired of her saying that. Good God. Can we just put, press the button? Nico, like, uh, It's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and crap. show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. What the crawl is that, Hajime? Let me believe in you! Like, uh, okay, what? I forgot we had to do this. Crap. Alright. Uh, it's definitely none of these. God dang, dude, this is just... I just want to know her motivation for all of this. Like, what... What was even the point? What did the killer do after the broadcast? Uh, that's a little bit tricky. Jesus Christ, dude. Small clue, the killer left. Yeah, it'd have to be that, right? Right, okay. The body was hidden before. Nah, that's none of those. Oh my gosh. Put it back after... Wait. Put it back to normal after destroying it? What? I don't know. How was the real locked room created? With the booger juice. Yeah, whatever. The... I don't know why. <laughs> why did I call it booger juice? Look how cool for you. He goes just like... <laughs> God dang it, dude. I wonder if we're ever gonna find out who the gray person is here. Okay, that's a dumb joke. Anyway, um. Went after, after destroying it. Uh, would it be the surveillance camera unit? I don't think so. Would it be Hyoko here? I mean, that's kind of the. No, crab. Information doesn't hit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what did the killer do after the broadcast? I don't think it's this. I mean, we have tons of HP to just try. Might as well give it a shot, right? All right, yeah, sure. Why not? Eh. Last stock. What the heck? This is actually really e like simple murder to figure out in general. Well, it can't be that, but yeah, we we saw this happen. I like how it shows that they have long hair there. Huh? I guess. I don't know. That's what I was really skeptical on at first, but Mikon made especially sure to be 100% that, like, there was no way you could mistake Mikon and Ibuki's body type, which was actually really, really smart. But that obviously goes there. Now, what's the, like, last one? Uh, break the drumstick in half? Uh, was it that? No, they weren't even in there yet, so it'd have to be that, right? Yeah. Here's everything that happened in this That's case. it? God dang, all right. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. 
The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on it. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? God dang. She almost got away with it. Alright, not even really, but you know. Jeez. How could someone so god dang adorable do something so evil? <laughs> Stop! No, god dang it! I'm gonna hear that in my name here is God dang dude. <laughs> Why'd it have to be me, Khan? Whoa! Now she's laughing? <sighs> it's been such a long time. Don't do it. Stop! Stop! This feeling. No. I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. What the crud? This feeling of despair. No! What the? Mikon, <laughs> you... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time. Best, you best stop talking, you dumb piece of crap. Bear. Was she really infected with the despair disease? Like, I gotta know, what would make her do this? Like... And we still don't know everything about the murder, what the... Ah, oh my god. I'm so exhausted, dude. I just... I don't know how much more I can take, dude. Like, I, I thought Pekko was bad. This is just... It Jesus. seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. You got it, boss. Wait, you're my boss. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? 
or the dreadfully wrong one. You can suck my butt, you stupid turd. Let's go. All right, whatever. Jesus Christ, dude. See, if this was Donald Rumpa one, it'd be like, all right, vote the dead. Now we gotta hear about, like, I don't know. <sighs> I honestly never thought I would like. She has just victim written all over herself and just like. <sighs> What a dumb! This is a bullcrap, dude! Well now. Though it may be obvious at this point, Correct. you got it right once again! That's like three times in a row! That's right. The true identity of the horrifying Blacken who killed two girls was Mikan Sumiki! Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed suspect to health, was the one who killed them? You. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you're nursing them? <laughs> God, hey. Don't just laugh! Say something! This is going nowhere. <laughs> hey, that was an order. What, what, what the crud, dude? What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey. This is nothing like Peko. She's actually gone mental! That's There's obvious. nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Uh, huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikan, you said. So that really was it. I... I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Uh, hold on. Did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Then that means she was- What? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? Like, what? Well, my body's- Yeah, that's when I started to suspect her. Because when he says this, right, like- Oh no, wait, I'm thinking about the other time, but like- Her body was really warm when she woke us up the second time, you know? Because she messed with the thermostat inside the venue. Alright, I can't stay on the screen too long, goddamn- not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. Yeah. That's right. Nikon felt really warm at that time. Now I think about it, that must have been a high fever. Just like what me Abuki Wait, what? That's what Holy crud. It cannot be. And because of that disease, Mikon was Perhaps the symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope, and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the Despair Disease, she was likely overcome with despair. We get it, we know what it does, guys. See? That's the reason why she could still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> this is too sad. She didn't even do anything wrong. What the- Jeez. Which means the Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person. Now that she's infected by the despair disease, Isn't that right? she's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate dis. Oh my god, no. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop, stop, stop. I can't. I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair, instead of for the sake of hope? Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Can you, can you? Oh? For the sake of despair? <laughs> That's completely wrong. Huh? Uh, wrong? It's the first time I've ever been wrong in this whole series. What the, uh, wrong? What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Are you? Yeah, who are you talking about, Mikan? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. Oh no! Stop! Stop! Oh! Uh, 
was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. What the heck? They forgave me and accepted me. So it wasn't even the despair disease? What? They gave me value. Who are you talking about? They loved me. What? I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. What are you... What are you... <laughs> what? I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know. But you know. To transcend all that is truly love. what love is all about. Hey. Dang, she's crazier than me, homie. What? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? It's because you don't have anyone to love. It's because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone. <sighs> what a pity. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Jesus Christ. It, what? Well, even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand. But love is a wonderful thing. <sighs> this feeling of freedom when you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones with that thin veil. And I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. <sighs> It's Amazing. nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's only love. Love. Could it be? Jesus Christ, kill her already. I'm so tired. Nagito, is this really the despair's disease you were talking about? This is. You got me out. It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. <sighs> You're half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Wait, you got your memories back. Oh my. Apparently, that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. What? Boy, what the? You're just making stuff up, Ajime. God if this means she remembered something and ended up like this... Such despair. Are you... That means she was like this from the start, yeah. Were you like this before you even came to this island? so <laughs> gets so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know. What? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this. You see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. It was also my beloved who created me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the hell are you talking about? God dang! <laughs> Answer us, Mekon! <laughs> Tell us what you... <laughs> I've never been more mad at a 2D anime character in my life! God! Are you saying this is Mekon? She's the real Mekon? Mekon, please answer me. Did you really remember? Do you... You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mekon! <laughs> oh, can you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> it's about that World Ender organization that you all were worrying about. You uh, serious? You know what the- <laughs> Not no. I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. How that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. What? Future Foundation? No. What? What? What does that mean? 
There's no way Makoto... What? Why would Makoto destroy the world? That symbol in the ancient ruins door. That's right. It was a Japanese word for future. What the cr... Nagito, do you know anything? Just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, the organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? <laughs> That's right, it's a visual novel video again. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Hmm. Isn't that right, Mona Me? I don't know what. You, I knew it. Mona Me, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Mona Me and I aren't members. I am Monokuma. My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> or maybe it's not. <laughs> I'm about to vomit. Like, what? No. Don't laugh. That's all these. I, I can't have lib. I'm about to cry. Like, hey, Mikan. If you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> of course I know that. <laughs> Let's see. The future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is. Oh. Oh well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! Heck <laughs> no! You'll find out eventually! So there's no need to be impatient. Probably when the countdown ends. Countdown? Hajime, you've been staring at that thing for like three days. You know what's up, like... You... You even know about that? Oh? I don't know anything. Uh huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but... Who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is. Mikan, you need help, honey, but you're not gonna get it, so can you go die already? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were like this. Wait. <clears throat> I just realized Hajime was saying that. I can't believe it either. What the? There's no way I can believe you're like this. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up till now? The past. B what? That person. She didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend? Oh? Oh, that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self? Uh, that's still you, though. I don't like your current self. Screw you. Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people. Memories of events. Whatever memory it is. Losing memories are... Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. Uh, that might be the case, but... You know what to think anymore. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories, making us shadows of the past, don't you think? Okay. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So what was it true all along? Our memories were taken away? wasn't true. We won't be suffering this much. Well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace. Oh. Manakuma, is it all right for you to start now? Yes, indeed. Punishment time? Why? Mikon, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. I feel like I'm gonna actually be sick to my stomach. On one hand, we can't ever forgive a killer. Just someone that would take people's lives for no reason, but like... So it's over. <sighs> Deep down, I kind of still want to be friends with it's her. really... Now I can go <sighs> to my beloved, who always forgives me. 
I can finally see them. I'm happy for you, but, uh... Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! This is just too sad, man. God dang. What happened during her school life that even made her this way? Like, what the crud, dude? This goes beyond just getting bullied and s What the heck? Well... See you later. See you later. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. That was a Shin Megami Tensei sound effect! What the heck? Um... Oh, God, I just hope it's over fast. Oh, you'll know it. <laughs> Honestly, though, this one's way bit. What the crud? Uh... What the... God dang it! Why couldn't she just die normally? Uh... What the crud? All right, are you are you serious? Why do I have to? Oh, uh. I know I've just been going like ah, uh, like I don't even know what to say though. This is just this is really weird. Wait, she just dead? Oh, thank God. <sighs> I thought I was gonna get way worse. Thank you, Jesus. She just she's just dead. All right, cool. It's finished. Is it really finished? Killer who killed Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sayanji was Mikan Sumiki. Yeah, I was paying attention, I remember. And she's been executed. Is it just me or is that the shortest execution ever? I mean, I'm glad, because... God dang it, we're just kids, like... She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. <sighs> so what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikon? From earlier? Was that her true form? Was that herself a symptom of the despair disease? We may never know, dude. It. it doesn't matter either way! She ended up like that, just from remembering. And all along, Mikon was never worth being a symbol of hope. But... Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the despair turned her into that. She lost herself to a simple disease. She was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. <sighs> Nagito, just chill out, dude. Isn't like, that right? So let's just move on! <laughs> Come on! Let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! Th that, that is impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time. But even so... Yeah, like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. And she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now there's no way we can just move on. Try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor too wrong <laughs> too bad that's not the case mikan was not the traitor Come on. the traitor is still alive as proof see how fine mona me looks right now <laughs> i'm not fine at all mm -hmm. but if the traitor died you want to be this calm right i mean you're both pawns of the future foundation so you guys are like two hearts beating as one. So Monami really is a bad guy. You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monami. Who cares who I am? More important, I'm tired. I'm gonna go eat some pizza. The drama just keeps going and going. I ain't have time to eat my black bean right eye We're during the... Black bean right eye during the... Bre what? What what is that? What? Your right eyes made of black beans. Hey hey. Wait, that's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey. Yeah I'm... no, it, 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 that life has its ups and downs. It's fun because downs come after ups. If life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? Yeah. <laughs> so in order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. A special event. <laughs> Head over to the first island beach. 
An old friend will be with. Nikamaru! Oh my god! Oh my god! I I is it Nikamaru safe after all? Hmm. Mm, safe? How should I say? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that crazy jerk of Nikamaru could come back in us in one piece. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude! We're starting to see the light of hope! Ah! The, the light of hope. Uh, I'm happy Nakamaru's returning to us. But I. So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died. So I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. Miss Sonia. She's got a big heart, man. However. Y yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Even so, I am still happy. Nakamaru is safe. I am truly happy. Fine. We gotta go see for ourselves. Come on. If you are happy. You should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who've been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of uh, Who Gives a Crap. This time doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> that line doesn't suit you. Silence! I shall crush you into dust! Um. Ibuki Hyoko Mikon, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nakamaru when he returns to us. Oh my god! You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? And let's all go greet Nakamaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Akane. God dang it, I miss him already. What the heck? Do we saw after effects of the disease? I don't get it. Ah! Uh, uh. Akane. All right! <laughs> let's go! Yeah. You're right, crud. Man, if we get Nekumaru back, Jesus Christ, he's so goddamn happy. <laughs> Run here, unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Holy crud, dude. Oh, uh. Oh, oh. Man, they ran off Well, listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. You're so impatient. They didn't learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um. I was gonna give them my black right eye. Yeah. What does that mean? Hey. You're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! I'm not plotting anything. I was just mm, trying to properly explain everything to them, including Nekumara's body. Hmm? Oh my God! Is he? Is he like? You know? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that. I bear no responsibility. <gasps> that was a really bad pun, bad big brother. Uh, what'd you do to Nakumaru? What's this? What did I do? Oh, I just saved him, that's all. I mean, I, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So I just couldn't be helped. <laughs> buh, 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 buh. I swear to God, you stupid bear! If you want, you hurt one hair on his god dang head. As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach to the first island. We're already there. Oh yeah. Uh. Right. Let's haul booty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this sandstorm thing. I'm just... Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. How can you speak for everyone else, Hajime? You can only control your own body, but without stopping for anything. We kept right on running toward the beach on the first island. <sighs> Come on, Nekumaru. Be okay. Where is he? Come on. Where's my boy? <laughs> He's gonna talk about pooping, right? Where the world is Nekumaru? Hey. Nekumaru, show yourself, god dang it! We have come to pick you up. Please hurry and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. Oh my god, no. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him, but hey, hey, what the heck, man? He's he's nowhere to be found. Damn it! Could it be? Do we get false info from Monokuma again? <sighs> That's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. Oh my! <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for? Yes! Oh my God! Nakamura's back, baby! Wow! That voice. With high hopes in our heart. We turned toward the direction of the voice, and then we saw something truly unbelievable. Heck yeah. Um... Huh? What the...? What's Yo! Wrong? I've kept you waiting! Hey! What's going on? 
Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> what? Um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? That's what I want to know. If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Uh... Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you... noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! What happened? What?! This is Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! What the crap?! <laughs> I said this is the first game we were robots, and now we actually are! Heck yeah, I was right! <laughs> <laughs> He's back, who cares, Tony? He's a robot! Heck yeah! Uh, yeah, it's probably a lot to take in, though. Oh my god, okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, at least he's back, right? Oh no, what is going on? Oh, that ain't good. Oh my god. Well, I know how many games or days are left in the game. That's good, I guess. Let's try um, them. <sighs> Jesus. I was like half worried there that. Oh my god, we dropped like flies. I just realized. Wait, it's not nine people! It. It's not. It's not nine days, it's nine people. Is that a coincidence? Oh my... I don't even want to think about Mekon or nurses ever again. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway... Yeah, seriously, like, I... Like, screw you, Mekon! I'm still kind of upset over it a little bit. Anyway. We're hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right, a common, ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example... The enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss, or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. Well, that sort of happened. Would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. <laughs> Not this unreasonable turn of events. Yeah, like. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. We heard you the first time, bro. Nekomaru? Is that you? Uh, yeah, it's it. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me. No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all. <laughs> it's just a straight up robot now. You guys are a strange lot. You all have such big white eyes. <laughs> Perhaps you've all fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what you want to say, just by looking in your eyes. Not again. I am a former team manager. Yeah! On one hand, I'm really happy because I was... Semi-predicted something, just not in the game it appeared in, but yeah, how are you a robot? What the... What happened? Looks like you seen a ghost or something, and not a super sexy robot. <laughs> Hey man, don't go scaring Miss Sonya with that strange effing mask! As he raised his stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed on a Nekomaru's head and. I already know. Come on, take it off! <laughs> uh, uh, ow! Ow! Do that harder. Uh, oh, stop it! Stop it! Hey, hey. Uh, what the? Yeah, it won't come off! Wait, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap! I just that just for show! Sure, electricity! <laughs> is that your new catchphrase, Nekomaru? God, it's not that catchy. It's not just for show, it's pure electricity. I've been reborn! That's pure electricity. <laughs> Wait, does that mean you can't poop anymore? I don't think he- oh man, she- <laughs> Her boyfriend's a robot! If you're seriously Nekomaru, Damn it. that's my fault, right? He ended up getting a body like that. It's all my fault, right? Sorry. Sorry, Nekomaru. I don't know how to apologize for this. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. Are you serious? You're, you're too upbeat. Is this really okay? Yeah, you you have literally stopped being a human and are now a cyborg. Like what? <laughs> if you keep sweating the small stuff, we're gonna get more gray hairs. Hey, hey. Counting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. Hey. But you're really Nekomaru, right? 
You came back to us, right? That's right! I've resurrected from the depths of hell! In shining silver. Ugh. You... How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. Yeah, god dang, we all got scars. <laughs> how can you accept that body? Oh, it's better to just be alive. You know what? That's a good way of thinking about it. Huh? Huh? It's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I could still fight. Show some it doesn't matter who happens to my body. Not one bit. Amazing. Your amazing Nekomaru is brimming with hell. Oh, okay, you gotta. Uh, Nagito. Take a chill, pain. <laughs> One would not be enough. Alright. It's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nekomaru is saying, but no matter how we make sense of this, it's just too weird. This is a novel or a movie. This is reality. Nah, no, it's a video game, bro. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No, instead, why did this happen? Um, My head hurts a lot, like right now, what the- Anyway, I'm glad that's fine, right? Right, Nekumaru? Definitely came back to us. What's this? My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? Oh. As is Monami. I like Monami a lot less if she didn't have this god dang awesome like, theme song. Oh, god, I love it. Yeah. Why is Nekomaru a robot? I don't think he was that way before. Hey, um... Unfortunately, it was truly difficult to save Nekomaru from the jaws of death. They don't call me the psychopop magician for nothing. No one calls oh you that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Such a wonderful before and after has occurred. People say I don't like Monokuma's like English voice. How can you not, dude? Like real talk. <laughs> it appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares. <laughs> hey, hey! If you're if you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? I, is that a program too? Then what happened to the other stuff like your uh, self awareness and? <laughs> How many times I have to tell you that it doesn't matter, no matter what shape or form I take. I'm Nekomaru Nidai! Is he though? Uh, is he gonna power through the rest of his life with his new abilities? I don't know. If he does, hey, more power to him. That kind of reaction? Looks like you're really self aware. <gasps> that means this technology is insane! I've never seen or heard anything like this before. <laughs> what the commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement. If you think advancements exist in college, it and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> the real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey. What does that even mean? What? Are you saying that that's you? Were you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him, you stupid stuffed toy. Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. What? Uh, hold on, if you harm Monokuma, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna end up like a robot too, probably. <laughs> you intended to find me yet again. You're quite the barbarian. Disappear! Jeez, this time you definitely fall prey to my monocoma bazooka! <laughs> um, again? You gotta be kidding me! No. What? Come on! Once again, the world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding environment and all the sound blown away. We get it. Turning everything completely white. And within that whiteness, I heard that voice uh, yet again. Uh, Nekomaru! Gee, are you joking? Oh, he's alive! <laughs> that didn't phase me at all! My man! Check it out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all! Holy crap! That means you can just fight Monokuma for uh maybe not, I don't know. Probably put a self-destruct in you hey, or something. Hey. Are you effing serious? He took that blast, he doesn't even have a single scratch! <gasps> uh. <laughs> so long, Miss Sonia! I'm on Team Neku Maru! He's an awesome robot! Can I let you, uh, can you let me dismember you? Can you let me dismember you and show me your insides? No, <laughs> Sorry, I like the chicks, man. If I get dismembered, I'll end up dying. <laughs> By the way, I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekomaru is killed, it's still gonna count as murder, okay? Of course. 
Yeah, good luck murdering Nekumaru, he's a goddamn tank. It's possible that Nekumaru might kill someone instead. Oh yeah, that's a possibility. <sighs> Don't say such foolish things! That will never happen. <laughs> well, with all that mind, you guys enjoy this skill and cool trip together. I gotta eat more beans. Woo! <laughs> Once again, I hope we all get along. <laughs> we come out of pooped his bed. It's impossible. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I can mentally process this. Yeah, same here. Um, um will Nekumaru never return to his original form? <laughs> if that is the case. It is a burden for Nekumaru. Jeez. Hey, hey! I got came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know? Mm. Yeah, robots are cool. I guess. I can't really see a difference. Uh -huh. <laughs> just consider this a little promotion! By making a robot one of the main characters a genuine mystery! As her forms into a sci-fi mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. And the hard-boiled... Is transformed into cyberpunk! <laughs> You're totally destroying the genres, big bro! <laughs> Who cares? As long as it's fun, it'll sell. I mean, <clears throat> it's totally fine! <laughs> uh, god dang. Just when I thought Dong and Rampa couldn't get any weirder. <laughs> we just got a robot chilling with us now. I wonder if his, like, events change now that he's a robot. Eh, maybe not. He seems like a, he see, always seemed like a straightforward guy. I doubt like that much would change. As I listen to Monokuma's boisterous laugh, once again I was forced to accept this island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as normal. Oh my God, Hajime, your man's alive. Just quit monologuing. Causes, reason, circumstances, foreshadowing. These things don't apply here at all. That's what it means to live in a mad world. Yeah, but hey, we got a robot, so that's cool. Is that Disney World in the back? What the? Do Ultimate Robots dream of clockwork? They dream of Akane, I probably. I don't know. Wait, how's that even going to work? Uh, I don't want to know. The next morning, we gathered at the hotel restaurant. Like we always do. Yeah! And me said, Woohoo! Kind of. I mean, I don't know. I'm so I still need to like process like man Cuz on one hand I can't okay. I Know they're just saying an anime characters. I'm not trying to be that melodramatic, but She killed two innocent people I'll never forgive forgive anyone that was a murderer like I don't like, come on. That's just evil the, like the definition At the same time what in the world made her like that. I can't judge her 100% without knowing her. Because at the end of the day, we never really knew her, you know? So I can't be that mad, I guess. I, I often forget we don't have all our memories here on the island. But Akane does, and she's always ready for Food today was awesome as usual. <laughs> as always, you sure do eat a lot. I feel relaxed just by looking at you. Uh. Cut the sexual tension with a knife. Uh, it's impossible not to worry about it. No matter what, this feels really strange. It's not something I get used to easily. Hey, hey. Anyway, well, what are you gonna do, Mecha Mo? <laughs> Mecha Mo! You're, you're you used him already? What am I gonna do? For food. Do you need, like, oil? Hey, hey. Regular? Premium? <laughs> wow. Nah, he doesn't need oil. Uh, since he's. Pure electricity, maybe it's battery powder or something. I get totally normal food. Especially rice dishes. Yo, I can't keep my eyes off them. <laughs> However, I'm feeling a little down today, so I don't have much of an appetite. Alright! Are you malfunctioning? Ooh, if you show me your insides, I can fix you up, you know. <laughs> uh, no means no, you creep. <laughs> oh man. All of us enjoying such a hopeful breakfast. Delicious. Oh, what? That, sir, you're here too. Sorry. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Shouldn't have been born. I apologize. <laughs> God dang. I should know my place, and not speak out of turn. When everyone's gathering together like this. However, I just want to make sure I spoke to you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? That person. Mikon called her beloved. 
I can't help thinking about that. I won't get it out of my head. What? Oh, Hajime was saying that. Am I just a coward for worrying about that? Let me tell you this. It crossed my mind as well. But based on how she phrased it. Yeah, so this is the end. This is really how I can go to my beloved and be forgiven. So that must mean her beloved is just dead, right? Please forgive me. All my hopes of finally seeing you die with me. What the crud? This too must be the It was as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. Maybe she was a part of some cult and worshipped like some kind of god? I don't There's nothing to worry about. More importantly, we should be thinking about the future foundation. Our enemy. Now that fearsome organization known as World Ender is truly responsible for imprisonment. You bridge, you will die. Then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority! The future Foundation, what? Why would Nayagi- No, there must be another Future Foundation. Because isn't that what happened? Didn't he join the Foundation and like... <sighs> That's right, we don't know what happened at the end of the first game, dude. What the heck happened to my favorite goddamn character? I, I wanna know, man! What? The word future. It makes it sound like, I don't know, something good, right? I mean, there's no doubt that symbol on the door, the ancient ruins, was the Japanese word for future. Y yeah, but if that's the case, it might be better if we investigate the ruins again later. However... Yeah, that's a good idea. The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting to end the world make us suffer like this? He went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Not only that, they took away several years worth of memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy for reasons that are also unknown. Future Foundation World Ender, huh? There's obviously something wrong with you! If you believe it's something so unrealistic, you're a robot, dude. I don't... Hey, you're one to talk. What? what should we do? Wait, what we should be most concerned about is it relates to the Future Foundation. Isn't that right? It's the traitor from the Future Foundation that's hiding among us. Can we just, can we just have like a minute to like not worry about... <sighs> no, he's right. If we're to get off this island, we gotta figure that out first. Hey. I wonder who it is. The true identity of the outsider hiding among us and trying to ensnare us. I won't be fooled! Nagito's obviously the most suspicious, though! <laughs> Even a childish organization blathering about the ending of the world won't accept someone like me. <sighs> you make a good argument, but I'm still not 100% convinced. Man, nobody wants a worthless human. Like me to join their group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? You think so? Uh, no, no, what? And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Huh? Uh, who do you think is the most suspicious? It's obvious. I nominate Hajime. Hajime. Holy crud. Huh? Wow. Isn't it normal to doubt the most likely candidate? Hey. Not just that. You're the only one here who still doesn't know what ultimate talent you possess. Crud. If we're basing this on an outsider hiding among a group of ultimates, Hajime should be doubted right away. And Hajime's the traitor? Uh, of course I'm not- What are you even saying? You shouldn't raise your voice like that. He might become even more suspicious of you, you know. This is obviously your fault. Settle down. Stop fighting. <laughs> God dang it, I love Zoe. <laughs> not like that, not like that. I don't, I don't, jump, ship, I don't jump ship that fast, right? Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? Y yeah, come on. <sighs> that might be true, but... All right. I'll handle this! Just leave this matter to me! What do you mean? To eliminate this tense of atmosphere, allow me to present to you new function that I discovered last night. A new function? Ooh. 
<laughs> Don't tell me! Is it flight? Oh, can you fly? Uh, no. It's not a conventional function like that. It's more practical, novel. <sighs> then let's go. What? Oh, what? what? <laughs> Behold! <laughs> Nekamaru is crying. No! Hardly! I'm not crying! My right eye dispenses cola, and my left eye dispenses <laughs> Robo's tea? <Ew>. What? <laughs> Heck yeah! Are you kidding me? A, a soda fountain? Damn it. <laughs> I think I'm in love, guys. Oh my god. I know we're all day if we keep commenting on every little thing you do, but what me. the heck was Monokuma thinking giving you a function like that? So that evil. guy! He's definitely fooling around! Monokuma's just toying with other people's bodies! <laughs> I too was modified by Monokuma, <laughs> so I totally understand how Nekamaru feels! Ugh, oh, get away from me, stupid! Duh. <laughs> but don't be depressed! You'll get used to it! It's surprising how quickly you get used to it. Don't go button in our conversation all of a sudden. I'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rabbit. Oh. That's, that's extremely violent. It probably doesn't make any sense. <sighs> you showing up at a time like this means... I hope people don't start to doubt me. I don't know who Monami is. Did you come to tell us you defeat another mana beast? <laughs> Ta-da! You're correct. Oh, thank God they don't suspect me. Jesus. <laughs> Cause like legit, how would we know if we're him or not? Like you're the traitor, like what? Once again, you can visit a new island. So please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. I ain't going, what a drag. I wanna play with Nekumaru. That, what? Even if we get to the new island, it's not like we're gonna find a way to escape this place, right? You are right. Rather, I feel as though the opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a new island. Yeah, no joke. So it might be best if we do not go. Uh, but, 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 I, I beat him for nothing? What? I, I do not know what you're planning, foul rabbit! But we're not going to fall for it. Ever! That's, that's, a, this is a misunderstanding, I was just... Lame. How annoying. Just annoying. stay back and leave the rest to your big brother. I'll give you an example of how to lure these guys. To you, little sis. Hey, what are you doing? You're acting like we're allies. Is he gonna summon his state? What the dumb? What? what? What the crud is he doing? Didn't I tell you to stay back? What is? I mean, I watch a crap ton of anime. Okay, not that much. But like, what the dump is this? <laughs> it seems so painful. This to defend against it or evade it. Delicious. That's what it's delicious. What? Okay. Well now. What? Now that I've mopped up that annoying Special one, since says. you guys are feeling down in the dumps, I'll make you guys excited. Your noses will bleed. Compared to the earlier investigations, I prepared a special treat that's completely different than ever before. Mm. Tree. Nice. Hello, you took the bait? I guess it's true. If you want to get a shot in out of the room, carrots work the best. No no one says that. What? Huh? Who the F cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the treat is. <laughs> it's an amazing treat. Don't wet your pants. Well, it's okay if you do. Just don't spray it on me. That's reverse psychology, everyone. I prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new island. Just a clue about the future foundation. Huh? Well, it settles that we have to go, crud. Such as parts that may be useful for making a ship. Are you serious? Oh my god, then we can't get off. Nice. The island, oh my god. Also, your student profile from your time, I hope speaking of... What? So... Do your best to explore, take care. <sighs> That's a crap ton of bait, yo. A lot better than a carrot. Holy crap, Chiaki is so goddamn adorable. <laughs> um, uh. Hey, hey. What should we do? You know, our right. only option is to go. Obviously, we, we might be able to go home if we have ship parts. Yep. I plan to go too. If there are clues about the future foundation, we need to make sure we see them. <sighs> Hajime. What about you, Hajime? Of course you're going, right? 
If you look at your student profile, you might be able to find out what your shining talent is. <laughs> it's a chance for you to clear any suspicion, right? Yeah, we really gotta go then. What suspicions? I don't think anyone here doubts me except you. What? Oh, I see. <laughs> you know you say that. Just... Anyway, but if there's a clue about my talent, I want to know what that is. The reason Hope's Peak Academy chose me. The talent I possess, and yeah, we might be able to remember who we are, dude. These things matter to me. There's no way I'm not worried about it. It seems you're all prepared yourself for the worst. That means we're gonna go, right? If everyone is going, I shall accompany you as well. But there's also a possibility that Monokuma set a trap. We should be careful where we step. I can't stop thinking about that ancient ruin. They might have whole clues about the future foundation. We should start exploring the new island first. Yeah, like... Those ruins ain't going anywhere. Oh my god, this... <sighs> this trial took it out of me, y'all. Like, what the crud, man. I mean, on one hand... Mikon... She's gone. <laughs> Holy crud, that's funny. Um... And Pookie's gone too! No! God damn. What am I gonna do, man? Like, well, this this sucks. The same goddamn thing happened in the first game. Like, okay, on one hand, I'm sad I won't get skills. I'm also sad we lost. Why did I have to end this way? God dang it! Also, we lost Biakuya. But I, I don't know. I'm not that crazy about Biakuya. I like my monkey though. Let's get. Oh, no, I need the coconut juice. That's the only reason we survived that other uh, trial. Here's have some coffee. I might make you poo poo though. So like, you gotta you know, you gotta look out for that. Anyway, um. Do we give it just more stuff? Alright, uh... I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just like... Trying to like, calm down. Cause... I don't know, man, I'm like, actually attached to these characters. I know it's dorky with me, I don't give two turrets, like, just thinking... Man... There's just so much that's just weird, though, about this island. What's up with that giant bomb? What's up with the, like... The... Hajime, like, looked out into the, st the sky and said we're being watched or some crap, and that's still, like, on my mind. I have no idea what that's about. Are we all secretly just robots and Nekumaru is just a double robot? Like, I don't know. I got a lot of theories, okay? But I guess I'll save them for next time. Thank you all so much for showing for sticking around. My, my, my brain is putty. I don't... I'm gonna go lay down. Y'all y'all stay beautiful. That's, that's the name of this song, Beautiful Ruin. Wait. That's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat some cheese. <laughs>